fans, Prime Animation is coming to you with another project update. Uh, today we're going to be covering May's uh, advancements within the project, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, today's agenda, we're going to cover obviously the project update and <clears throat> a couple of other things that I wanted to mention. I'll get into it a little bit later on. I don't want to kind of spoil it um, ahead of time, so we'll just wait. It's going to be a quick video, not a whole lot to update. Reason there's not a whole lot to update is because as we're getting into the bigger scenes, right? We're, we're down to the last, I think, five scenes, and they're the the bigger ones, right? Um, if I'm I'm going off the top of my head, I know the fact that we've got eleven, uh, a good portion of eleven, um, eighteen, uh, sixteen is being worked on. Um, I want to say scene nine and twelve. Uh, so that's yeah, that's five scenes that are left. Out of 19 scenes total, five are left, and these are all the bigger ones, right? I think out of uh, all those that I mentioned, I think nine and nine and 12 may be the smaller ones, right? I know 16 is pretty huge, or it's pretty big, I should say, and 18 is huge, and so is 11. 11 and 18 have had to have been broken down into sub-scenes. So, for example, 11 has 14 sub-scenes to it. And 18 has 12 subscenes to it. So again, taking away chunks at a time, right? So let's go ahead and let's get into the project update. Anyhow, so in the month of May, we went ahead and we completed 6C. I took care of that. Um, so the entire scene for 6 is completely done. Um, scene 16 is still ongoing. Uh, Neil's been able to make some good progress. I think he should be completed... Um, with 16A, excuse me, let me rephrase, 16A, um, fairly soon within this month, next month. Um, and then there there was a correction. I had mentioned that 16C was actually being worked on by Vicky. That's actually, uh, I, I got my scenes completely mixed up. She's working on scene uh, 1110. So remember how I told you that the scenes were broken down into sub-scenes, right, to make it more manageable? So she's working on scene 1110. Um, it's 75% done according to her. She should be able to complete that by the end of this month, June, right? Um, so that's pretty much where we're at as far as the project update. Uh, on our Facebook page, we were able to post, uh, some concept art, right? Um, uh, one of the characters for the second film, uh, which was no big surprise, right? We had already posted, uh, Predator King and and uh, Skylink, so we went ahead and finished off the the trio with uh, Dark Steel, right? So not really a new character, sh uh, a new character reveal, but we completed his character sheet to announce his formal uh, uh, inclusion within the the sequel film. The other character, which is a personal favorite of mine from the Beast Wars era, was Depth Charge. Uh, again, similar to Air Razor. Her name uh, did not have like a, a beast type name. Uh, so Depth Charge also is in that same field, right? Like for instance, Cheetor. Wouldn't really be able to use Cheetor as a vehicle, right? Because he's kind of, he's a cheetah, right? So, uh, you know, I know there was an action figure that came out that I think was a, uh, a Transformers animated blur figure and they did a repaint and named them Cheetor for one of like the conventions and whatnot. I get it. I'm not a real big fan of it, but anyhow. I'm a huge fan of Depth Charge, um, bringing him on to, um, into the, the third film is, uh, is really cool. Um, keep in mind that with any of these character designs, the design may slightly change. The color scheme may change, right? Some, some, I think there was two fans that said it kind of looked like, uh, Dreadwing and it did, I did have a darker blue and I used a lighter tone, but I, I can see that. Maybe we change the colors around. I don't know. But uh, for the most part, the design will be the way that it is uh, there. So we've got two Beast Wars characters uh, within that film, Air Razor, Depth Charge. And as we announced in the sequel film, we've got Black Arachnia. So three total uh, characters that are making um, uh, an appearance within our storyline, right? So re really cool stuff. Trust me, guys, we've got... We've got tons of surprises. So if you guys think that these two characters are pretty cool, we've got we, we've got more characters on the way, right? We, we mentioned last time Stinger, which is from the um, uh, the the Bayverse movie films, right? Uh, he, I think it was in the fourth film, right? We've added him on. So we're gonna be pulling characters from different uh, 
different aspects of the Transformers uh, lore. Um, but it's going to make sense. It's not going to be, hey, it's just a character. We're just going to pop them in. Blah, blah. It's going to tie in. Every story ties in. There's a rhyme and a reason for every character's appearance. Characters will not just be thrown in there randomly with no backstory whatsoever. We're going to try and, and be logical as much as possible. No, I shouldn't say as much as possible. We're going to be logical. We're going we're gonna to take a, a page out of Shockwave's book. It's going to be logical. So uh, that being said. So you got more characters to come. As we pop them out, we'll share them with you guys. We're not going to share every character because I do want to hold on to some secrets and surprises, right? I, I really do like surprises. And uh, I, I don't really like to throw spill out everything all at once. And then you guys are like, oh, I knew, I knew he was going to show up. I want to give you guys what I need to give you now. And then wow you uh, later down the road. Anyhow. What's next in the project, right? So right now I'm actually currently working on scene 18-4. So remember I had told you I had broken the scenes up. 18 was one of those uh, scenes that I needed to break up because it was just way too long. Uh, which is also good because I'm able to edit certain things. Um, and not and you know there was so much in there that I don't think we need to edit um, or animate the entire thing, right? I think I think scene 18 is like 28 minutes long. Uh, so we definitely need to chop that down and I've already started to do so anyhow so scene 18.4 uh, is honestly it's 50% complete I shouldn't have a problem completing it uh, uh, by the end of this month um, and uh, and so that'll be done um, once Vicky finishes scene 11.10 like she says she's 75% completed she's going to go ahead and move on to scene 11.12 uh, should Neil finish with 16A, I'm going to have him jump right into 16B. Excuse me, 16C. 16C. Um, and then I'm going to continue to work on... Now, here's the thing. I don't know if Jonathan will be done with the, the outside scene that I need for scenes 9 and 12. Uh, it's the same environment. It's just... Things, uh, the environment needs to change between the scenes. So he's working on that right now. If he's able to finish between now and the end of the month, I will transition over to either doing 9 or scene 12, one or the other, depending on which one gets done first. Probably 9, right? Uh, I think 9. Yeah, I'll do. I'll keep it in sequential order. I think 9 is a little bit quicker than... than, than... No, 12 is quicker than 9. I, I may do 12 first. To come to think about it. So I'll take that. If not, I'll take another piece out of uh, scene 18. I don't know which one yet, but um, I'll definitely uh, look at which one's more manageable and then work on that. Like I said, probably next month we'll start working on hopefully smoothing out scene one. Uh, hopefully we'll spend August, September, uh, we'll spend July, August, September, spend those three months smoothing uh, scene, those the three pieces of that scene. So we've got the... Uh, uh, scene one a b and c right if we can smooth all three of those out hopefully by october we'll be able to release the first scene um and we'll try and, and render that that sucker out since we're only going to do scenes uh bits and pieces at a time we're almost close to getting at least one full render engine uh which is going to lead me into my final segment which is a special thank you to everybody that has been honestly one very supportive of our project right uh, we've gotten tons of, uh, compliments, words of encouragement, and that stuff just continues to help us keep going. Right. I, I know for me personally, it does. I can tell you for the team members, we kind of sometimes group chat and we kind of, uh, take a look at what this person said and wow, that's really encouraging how that person said that and so on and so forth. So it really does help. Uh, the other part is the, uh, contribution. That type of support is also uh, very, very appreciated. We had a number of uh, donations um, uh, last month and they blew me out of the water, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's something that's that's really uh, meaningful to us. Like I said, we're very close to being able to purchase our first render render farm, render engine. I don't know what to call it. I think render farm would be the, the appropriate term. Um, so once we are able to get that, we'll go ahead and purchase, we'll go ahead and purchase that, uh, that, that hardware. Um, and then hopefully we can use that between now and then I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to achieve that 
and we should be able to use that to render that one scene and continue animating. Um, so that's about all the updates that I have for you guys. Uh, not a whole lot again because of the size of each scene. Uh, it's taking longer, right? And that's expected. So, so hopefully we'll continue to, um, to give you guys more information, more detail. I do want to continue doing the character designs. I know I've been promising you that for a while, or the, the character videos. Um, it seems like almost every month I come out here and say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And really, I just get tied up with so much and so many things. And, and so um, I do have it here. So hopefully, maybe this week, I'll, I'll record it. And uh, I'll be posting that pretty soon. Until then, guys, um, we'll keep working at this. We'll keep plugging away. We'll see you next month uh, with another update and hopefully some more completions and some more cool characters for you guys to talk about. Guys, stay safe, be cool, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.